super easy. Can't express how easy this was. Every weakness you have is an opportunity for God to show His strength in your life. Hey folks, Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors, and today we're doing a little DIY here in the shop. Got a used power drive 55 pound thrust Makota trolling motor that I'm going to be cutting down to retrofit it onto a Jackson U-Pick kayak. Now if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell. I try to put out new videos each and every week. But today I want to jump right into this DIY and see what we can't get done. All right, folks, so the first thing first that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark out my shaft or get an idea of where to put my tape before I put my final mark where I want to cut it. 36 inches from the bottom. And just give me an, a rough estimate of where to put the tape. I'll place my finger there. And I'll put a little mark. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some tape around it and this tape will help make your cut a lot cleaner. I'll just put that tape around it. And then I want to take another measurement, again, where that 36 inches is at. I'm going to hold it real tight, grab my marker here. This would be a lot easier with two people, but... That's the first step and I'm going to add some more tape on both sides of it just to kind of help, help protect that shaft a little bit. And then, and we got that marked and ready to go. And next I'm going to go ahead and take this, take the head off the trolling motor. And all I'm going to do is just kind of check and make sure what is on the inside of this. Uh, there would be a lot of wires and, and things running through there, and we don't want to cut. You know, if we just come through here and just cut straight off, well, we would have to rewire, reconnect everything. We don't want to do that. So what I'm planning on doing is trying to protect the wires on the inside at the same time, taking my time cutting that shaft around as square as I possibly can and as clean as I possibly can. But I just want to look and kind of see what we're dealing with here. If I can get this head off. There we go. Okay, so we just got two wires, just two power wires inside there. Right, so. so the next step is to actually cut the shaft. Now this is the part that kind of scares me and it scares most people as well. Now, as you can see, this is a used trolling motor. It's not a new trolling motor. So I'm not really worried about warranty or anything like that. If you get a new trolling motor and you're wanting to do this, take it to an authorized dealer. That way you do not void the warranty. Now we've already taken the head off. Check to see that there's only just the two wires that run down through here. And there's not a lot we gotta worry about. But we still wanna take our time make sure that we don't cut the wires or cause ourselves any more work or put any more damage onto the trolling motor than we already, than we're going to. So just take our time. We've already got the line marked and we're just gonna slowly work our way around it. Now, if you're like me, I'm not a real patient person, but this is a time where you need to be as patient as you possibly can. Now this cut's pretty easy. And I'm gonna 
scoot it over here just a shade. We got that cut. That was the easy part, cutting that off. All right, so we got the shaft cut. Now, the hard part is to actually cut the length of the shaft. The shaft is actually pretty thick, uh, in all honesty. It's a lot thicker than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought this was going to be a little bit easier than that. So what I'm going to do, this is, you know, the material this is, I think will bust and, you know, splinter and, and just kind of uh, should be able to cut it fairly easy or break it fairly easy. So I don't want to take a chance on cutting the wires. So I'm just actually going to take some wire cutters and try to cut and break off enough that I can get the wires, get it off the wires and then be able to put everything back together. We don't need this other piece for anything. We can't use it no more. So it doesn't matter what how we get it off there as long as we get it off there. So let's see what we can do. Probably should use some sort of safety equipment for this. All right. One thing I should have done, and if you guys go to do this yourself uh, beforehand, is put this stop down here. That would have made it a heck of a lot easier. There we go. Makes things a little bit easier. Now let's see if we can finish this off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. As you guys can kind of see how thick that was. A lot thicker than what I had imagined. All right, so I'm gonna pop this thing apart here. And I'm actually, what I think I'm going to do, make it simpler on myself, instead of trying to get that cable to go back down into the shaft, I'm going to wrap it up inside the head. It'll be a little bit easier to deal with. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get that thing lined up to where it needs to be on the shaft. And I'm actually going to pop the holes in it. Uh, be a little bit easier on me to do that. Now that's just a three sixteenths hole. And you want to be careful once again with those wires and make sure that things lined up good. scientific stuff going on here.
All right, we got both holes, got the holes drilled in it. Slide that bolt through. Now one thing's for sure, this stuff is easy to lose. So you wanna be careful with what you're doing. If you're like me, you'll lose it. You'll lose it and never even know where it went to. All right, now all we gotta do is put the head back together and we will be ready to roll. Now I would say that if a person really wanted to, um, you could cut these two wires apart, put them back together where they're spliced together with no problems. But me, eh, this is a garage DIY. I'm gonna do it the easiest way I possibly can. And that is to roll the wires up in the head and forget about it. Well, fellas, there you go. I had literally never cut one of these down before. Not gonna say that I done it right. Not gonna say that I done it perfect, but she's ready to go on the kayak. So if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, it was a fun little project, nice little DIY. It was nice to get something like this and uh, break it down and I'm gonna be putting it on the kayak in the next video. So. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one as much as I did making it. God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water.